Poetry and wine may seem unconnected, but then Scottish poet Robert Louis Stevenson said, wine is bottled poetry. We enlisted McAllen Restaurant House Wine and Bistro to help us explore the similarities between poetry and wine by looking at some famous poets and asking the question, if this poet were bottled, what kind of wine would they be? Robert Frost, The Road Not Taken. Two roads diverged in yellow wood, and sorry I could not travel both and be one traveler. Long I stood, and looked down one as far as I could, to where it bent in the undergrowth. I shall be telling this with a sigh somewhere ages and ages hence. Two roads diverged in a wood, and I, I took the one less traveled by, and that has made all the difference. So when you describe the, uh, the conversation, from what I hear, it's casual, but yet has depth and a little bit of complexity, but there's some familiarity with what you're, what you're dealing with. Uh, so with that, I went with Chardonnay. Everybody knows Chardonnay. It's probably one of the first wines most people are going to try or they hear the name of and they're very um, familiar with. This is a Chardonnay from Napa, from California. This is the cake bread. Um, it's going to still have a little bit of butteriness, but also uh, some beautiful complexities, but not so overwhelming. It's still going to have that familiar Chardonnay taste and um, delightful in a glass. McAllen Public Library will soon be hosting the 2020 South Texas Book Festival October 29th through November 1st. Join us on Thursday, October 29th at 7 p.m. for a virtual program, Poetry and Wine, an evening of literature, featuring local poets Emmy Perez and Jose Antonio Rodriguez. 